Welcome back guys to Splatoon single player. It's more of a walkthrough than a let's play at this point But let's keep on keeping on because you guys voted to see it. So we're on Mission number four after taking out the boss last time. Gush your gauntlet take to the skies. We'll accept the mission and get moving onwards And of course, look for the scrolls to reveal any story that we can find. Nothing below us, which is always a good thing. Let's fight this from the side. Shoot at a gusher to make it burst upward. Fair dues. Right, go to squid form and jump from the gusher. Well, that was what I was going to do, sir. That was what I was going to do. Jumping across is not exactly a hard feat, after all. Can't paint them, however, which means that there's no special stuff around that side. Let's burst off and see what we can find. Well, there's an enemy. All around us, in fact. You can see them on the minimap. Alright, let's burst all these balloons, get us some goodies. I wonder, is there any other special stuff around this edge? Well, the balloons didn't really get me all so much, but it seems I just need to go up. So what I need to do is use the gusher. And we'll land right where I need it. Right then, it's an Octo Stamp. But we'll just shoot it anyway. Make you drown a bit. That's it, keep it up! The ink, it just gets bogged in the ink with no problem at all. So as we spread ink further and further around. Is there any goodies here? No, it doesn't seem it. There's something above me though, isn't there? I can't hit it from here. A bit of a problem. I kind of don't want to get hurt. Luckily, the gush itself is kind of a defensive wall of excellence. Come on, I can hit you. I believe. Whoa! Something nearly bad really happened there. Okay, let's get up and over. Tried to defeat them. There we go. And we instantly re gushed it. But to be honest, it's probably not that good to go from up high here. Let's just check around, see if we haven't missed anything, because down low is probably a lot safer for us. Alright, nothing hidden around. Well, we can just go up normally. We don't need to use the thing. And take the pipe. Alright, so what's over here then? Here we go, use the gushers. Well, as defensive walls. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Blow them up using everything. Launch pad ahoy yet again! Well, I'm launching everywhere at the moment. These gushers are blasting me over the place. Alright then, up we go. But we still haven't found the scroll yet, so it's time to keep checking around any edge that we can. But it doesn't seem to be here. Alright then. Up we go! Gusher again. Seems to take us everywhere we want to go lately. Oh, I have to jump out. Right, let's take you down, and then... Oh, hello! Okay, bomb guy nearly got me. Didn't quite. So where are we going at the moment? Well, there's something up there. Just some more... upgradable material, we'll put it that way. And keep on keeping on. Well, there's two guys swimming around, so what we'll do is we'll take out one. There we go, blown them all sky high. And find ourselves our scroll though, taking a few shots to the face there at the same time. No full damage, so we can keep on keeping on. Alright, if I'm right in saying, nicely wraps up that. Gusher Gauntlet, take to the sky is complete. Alright then, so mission 4 is complete! Scroll and all. This scroll was found in a deep rock layer, its age estimated at approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. It seems the basic 4 vs 4 battle format had already been established at this stage. I'm sure. Alright, let's get ourselves to mission 5, which was where? Right here, floating sponge garden, dare to dream bigger. Let's jump in. And keep on puzzling. 
So now we're playing as blue ink, it seems. Floating sponge garden. Will I miss myself a special? I hope not. As long as I keep turning around and being observant, we should be fine. But that there is a sponge as we shoot it and it grows extra large. Farewell to you two. And we've got ourselves many an enemy in our path, but we'll take them out using supreme aggressiveness. Alright, so an unpaintable bit of surface there, nowhere to fall down upon. So what we're doing is we're going up the sponge yet again. And diving on in. Excuse me, out my way! We're coming through, don't you know? And you can't stop me inflating these sponges. Alright, so it seems we've already found ourselves a launch pad spot from here. Alright, checkpoint. Nothing behind us, I don't think. Okay, let's keep on keeping on forward. Right, we've got ourselves some ink rollery type guys. So let's spray in some ink in there first. There we go, we set them off, but they fell into our ink straight away. Easy prey once you see what enemies are in front of you. Oh, I nearly forgot. Enemy attacks cause sponges to shrink. Well, ain't that troublesome. We did see it in effect, however. We didn't feel one of those sponges then. Um, excuse me. Hmm. Can I do anything with them? Okay, I just need to paint the... Oh, I can't paint the ground. That's the problem. Just keep covering the ground and keep on keeping on. So where am I going now? Launch pad ahoy! We make it over to the other side. There it is. And that gets me the special. Anytime you see a grate, check underneath it because you might find something nice. It hit me, but all the same, I got what I wanted apart from that. So can I hit these guys from down here? I'm trying. It's not so much working. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to dive in. And fight them as fast as we can to get up higher. Coil obtain, it's time for us to blast off and keep on moving. Another checkpoint and lots of enemies that might shoot the ground we're on beneath us. I imagine it's going to be possible that I die a fair few more times during this. Whoa! Like then, for example, was nearly a very bad time, wasn't it? So it seems that the guy over there can't quite reach me, which I like as a factoid. So what we're going to do is we're going to bust in nice and sneaky style. I hope that no one's around to stop us. Tons of guys ahead. Final checkpoint time it is. So here we go. Let them have it. Well, they can't even hit me from here, but I can't hit them either by the look of it. They're all on a sponge. Can we hit the last two? There we go. Nicely done. We'll take down the balloon as well. And that is not enough to unsecure the zapfish. But in we go, and over we go, with some nice jumping, even if we fall because of the way they're edged. We should be safe. Zapfish obtained. Floating sponge garden is complete. And with that, another scroll unlocked. The terrifying biology of the Inkling. Limbs can leap up to 1.5 meters. Brain, simple and hedonistic. Bones, none. Eyes can spot prey from 100 meter away. Defense, high pressure, high capacity ink sack. Which is where it kind of shoots from in the end, I guess. It's, I guess that's a meter that shows you how much your stuff is. Touching covered kettles to super jump straight to them is one thing we can do, that's for sure, sir. But in the meantime, we've got enough power up here to power up yet again. So I'm going to keep increasing ammunition and just rely on shooting a lot. Touching covered kettles, okay, it's telling me the tips. You know, Agent Free, you remind me a little of my grandkids, do I now? Did they touch and covered kettles to super jump straight to them? Well, where is our next level here? We are after number six. We should be just here. Propeller Lift Playground is our next destination. Join me for more next time on Splatoon Single Player. Bye-bye.